First off, I'd like to congratulate all the recipients uh, of this uh, First Wine Bank uh, scholarship. And second of all, I'd like to thank First Wine Bank for really taking the initiative to provide the funding uh, for you folks to be able to attend the GCA Creative Academy. When the Guam Contractors Association first were looking into creating uh, a facility to train our local workforce, the military buildup really wasn't in our minds. In fact, I don't even think it was even talked about uh, during that time. And of course, in 2006, that was a big announcement, and so the timing was perfect. Um, we rely heavily on foreign workers, and we've been criticized for having foreign workers here. And so this is one way to train the local workforce because, you know, let's face it, back in the day, the construction industry was a, a sexy occupation to have. Now it's not. Okay, you're working out in the hot sun, okay, and we need to change that image because this is where the job's going to be in the next few years. And if we don't have the people here on Guam to do that, then, you know, this, this whole military build-up thing that's coming up is, you know, all for, all for naught, really, because people of Guam will benefit. And so the creation of the Trades Academy, we're giving that opportunity to the residents of Guam who are interested in the construction industry. And as Bert mentioned in, in several of his uh, speeches, uh, a willingness to learn. And great companies like First Hawaiian Bank, that's why they have that, you know, just say yes, or, you know, everything's about yes, right? Well, it's yes to you guys. Yes, we're going to provide this opportunity uh, for some of our local residents here to take advantage of the programs at the Trades Academy. And this is not something that we created, this is something that's been tested and proven back in the States. They're using the same curriculum, the same uh, uh, courses that are being taught throughout the United States. And as much as we don't want you to leave for greener pastures, I guess, if you want to call it that, we want you guys to stay here, but you take those credentials with you anywhere in the U.S. and then we recognize Ultimately, I think you guys want to get the U.S. DOL, U.S. Part of Labor, Journeyman Certificate. And so, if some of you are already employed, you know, ask your employers to sponsor you in an indenture apprenticeship program. If you're not yet employed, and you respond to some of these ads that are coming out, and please respond to those ads. Yeah, those ads that you see in the newspapers, those aren't for H2 workers, those are for local residents looking for work, and you need to respond to those ads, and let them know that I am going through some training. I want to take on this position as a carpenter, plumber, uh, HVAC technician, you know, whatever. Okay? And insist that you then be indentured as an apprentice. We, there's a funding program that will help you as students uh, afford or pay for the, 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 the academics. And there's also a funding program for the company where they can take 50% of your salary and anything else that they, they've uh, used for the training program against the gross receipts tax. So there's a lot of incentives there. You just need to act on it and have your uh, employer or your potential employer also act on it. So don't just stop here. This is a start, and thanks to the uh, folks over at First Hawaiian Bank, this is a start for you guys. But you need to keep moving forward. Don't just stop because the money stops. Okay, there's other opportunities out there. You need to find those as well and continue to create and ultimately graduate from the program and hopefully be an entrepreneur and start your own construction firm or your own maintenance company. Okay, that's what, the, as the governor's always mentioned, the Bovanian dream. So that's going to be the Bovanian dream for everybody here. It's not just to work at big paying jobs, but eventually graduating and being an entrepreneur and starting your own company. I think that should be your ultimate goal. But again, congratulations to all of you. I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys in the near future. And thank you so much for companies that first went back for providing the opportunity.